Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to the next part of our mobile home renovation of our... 1988 Palm Harbor Single Wide Mobile Home. Perfect! You nailed it. I was coaching you along with my mouth here. Go! Uh -huh. <laughs> so, we are going to bring you along on our moving day and let you experience a little bit of it with us. Wait, moving day? Yes, getting the boys out of our room. That's right. Today is the day that the boys move out of the room and into their own bedroom. We started the day off by painting the trim on the floor and the window, and Sam put up mini blinds. One of the next finishing touches we want to do is put window blinds up here in this new bedroom because as the sun rises, we don't necessarily want the boys waking up and then waking us all up because, hey, kids need to sleep as long as possible and the parents should always be the first to wake up. So to give us as much hope as possible, we bought some room darkening blinds and we got the thicker, I think it's about two inch depth or thick blinds. They're not the top quality by any means, but they're not the bare bones cheapest either. We have the same set in the bedroom and they've worked up well, so we think they'll do okay here given the environment they're going to be subjected to. Well, they're like perfect depth too. Oh yeah. One down, one to go. It is, uh, I mean, talk about setting the bar pretty high for anything else we do in this house, huh? Mm -hmm. So in our last video I made a mention about a DIY project or a cool thing for the boys for when we move them into their bedroom. Now I've got to go ahead and do a disclaimer that I think I may have falsely hyped them up. So be prepared to be let down perhaps, although I still think what we did was really cool. And I say I and we, but it was totally your idea. Yeah. Um, so the boys have a set of bunk beds that are wooden that actually came from my family when my little brother was little. So we got, they're I guess a hand-me-down, but they're nice solid wood and they can be set up either as separate beds or as a bunk bed. Mm -hmm. They've been in a bunk bed in our room for like months. Right, throughout this renovation we've all been little house on the prairie style, one bedroom family type thing. And since the boys have used them in the past, they've also been drawn on. Their feathers have been ruffled. <laughs> <laughs> with markers, crayons, pens, like you name it. So we needed to make them nice again. So we decided to cart all the pieces down to Sam's workshop and give them a nice sanding and a new coat of finish. So sanding is not anyone's favorite thing to do at all, but thankfully it went pretty quickly. We mainly just hit what you would see as the beds are assembled and the really the bad spots as you described were abused or whatever. <laughs> um, the finish we chose was a plain shellac finish. Uh -huh. Nice food safe finish, no odor, and more importantly it dried really quickly because we did all this disassembly, strip, refinish, and everything on moving day. We just carried all the bed pieces up from the workshop. They are freshly refinished. We sanded them all down and everything, and then we reapplied a coat of clear shellac. I think it looks pretty good. It kind of gave them a facelift type thing. Yeah. So these are bunk beds, but they also work separately. So the way we're going to put them up is as two twin beds. One of the things we learned throughout this whole endeavor of sharing a room is that we didn't exactly like the idea of Elijah being on the top of a bunk bed. The time we were spending all together in the same room was the first time he had been on top of a bunk and we just didn't like it. There were some safety concerns or we just didn't want him to fall out of it. So we are not going to be setting these up as bunk beds. We realize that does lose floor space, but that does kind of pay us back in the fact of the boys will have their separate spaces 
you know, one will have their bed, the other will have theirs. Green, blue. Right. <laughs> if they get sent to the room because they're in trouble, they're separated. So there's a little more hope of maintaining sanity in the house that way. Now we looked at getting new beds and kind of finding some with storage inside and kind of, you know, dreaming really, but new beds were way too expensive. Like $200 or more per bed, which is just more than we really want to be able to do. Yeah, no, this project has taken enough of our money. So by doing our time, that's what we gave to do, redo these beds. And then we can get under the bed storage bins or build them or something that will still get the maximum use out of it. So now with everything in the room, we're gonna go ahead and put the beds together. Let's go. Beat you to it. You did.
All right, so we are done with the, we'll say first bit of furniture move with the bedroom because we've got to get pretty creative with some storage solutions in here. It's one of those things that you can't really tell how it's going to be until you put everything in there. Yeah, definitely. But at least it gets the boys in their room. They can sleep in here, they can play in here, which is most important. And it gets us this much more room out of our bedroom. So it that's does. nice. Over We wanted to get a good rug for the boys room and we wanted it something to be a little more kid friendly or kid like instead of just the plain old regular rugs that you get for your living room or whatever. We both found one that is pretty cute so we'll have to see what you think. As it feels on your toes. Good. Not hard floor. The robot can be islands or houses. Truth be told, we are now about a week and a half after the boys have moved in the room. It has taken us this long to finally source dressers for the room, both that would fit size-wise, but also fit in our budget. The next best thing that we could find price-wise was still like $150 to $200 a piece, and we just really didn't want to do that. So what I did was I went on Amazon, shocker, and I found some, I won't, I won't say modular dressers, but kind of some is. different dressers that were much more affordable and I think worked pretty good in the space. The big thing was it had to be a dresser that was 28 inches or less, but was still big enough to hold all their clothes per kid because there's one per kid. Right. And like he said, they were like outrageous. And we wanted two that matched, so we didn't really want to go, you know, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, anything like that, because mm -hmm. it's impossible to find two that match that would fit that criteria. Yeah, the biggest or the most difficult thing was definitely the width. So he found those, we got them put together. Okay, I got them put together with Elijah's help, and they fit and work perfectly. In addition to the two dressers, we also picked up a smaller, shorter, I don't know if it's a dresser or a console like for a TV, either way, it fits perfect here below the window. Like he didn't measure before, but it like literally goes right underneath the edge of the window. So yeah, that was awesome. It's awesome. And it gives the boys a little countertop to play on in their room, plus more toy storage, which is definitely needed. Yeah, definitely. We know it's very hard to get a really good grasp of how large or small a room is with video and on YouTube videos. So a lot of you had really been giving us some great suggestions on, you know, put a desk at the window or do a built-in seat and this, that, and the other. 
honestly we just don't have the room but the furniture pieces we have I think fit the room really well very much so. the short little low dresser here at the front windows gives them the surface if they want to draw or something mm -hmm. although they really just play on the floor mostly it also gives them the extra storage for some toys and stuff like that it also acts as a nightstand or table of sorts mm -hmm. They can put their fan there if they want to have it at night because they like to sleep with that kind of noise on. And then there's also like Elisha's lava lamp and stuff like that. So I know it's kind of early, but is there anything about this room or project that you would change? No. Me either. I, I really, really like how this all turned out. Yeah, this is like the brand new house look on the end of the house while the rest of it... <laughs> no, the kitchen is really nice too since it got redone. Yep. But Yep. We still have uh, some work to do here, but this is really, really nice. The friends and family who have seen this or been in this space here are just really surprised at how nice it feels because you're in here and it doesn't feel like a mobile home at all. Right. So we also really, really raise that bar high for anything else we do in this house. <laughs> Darn. So, <laughs> speaking of next stuff going on, we do have our bathroom renovation. That is still, you know, right now tool storage. So stick around for that. If you're not a subscriber of our channel and you kind of like renovations or DIY projects, we have a bathroom we need to finish out. We've renovated, or well, partially renovated. We also have hallways, new front door, and all sorts of other things to do. That is definitely probably a keystone of our channel mm -hmm. is do-it-yourself projects, home improvement, and stuff like that. We're always doing stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for coming along. Um, leave us a comment. We love to read them. And otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See ya. Bye. See, let me destroy something if anybody does. I can't get it. Alright, let's see if we can get this done in like 20 minutes or less. Welcome back to our next video of our 1988 Palm Harbor mobile home renovation. <laughs> Single wide renovation. Yeah. So in today's video, we are officially calling. No, let me do that again. Now I'm going to lead you in and you're going to talk about the bed redo. That was all yours anyway. What? You got skin coming off. It's okay though. Yeah, okay. Just leave it. We're good? Yeah. I mean, you want to see it? I don't think so. Okay, come on. Okay. Angela is doing what we affectionately call plop and paint. You're painting my numbers. And we just had the realization that for the first time in over two months. Yes. The boys are inside the house. They're playing. But they're not literally at our feet. They're in their bedroom. Was it worth it? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it was worth it. Right now. This is it. Worth it. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye.